Hello, how we all doing? It's not late night for me, it's morning. I've just had breakfast, so I'm pretty happy. Mmm, just a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I had to make sure that I was casting for this one, especially with how uh, Too Late performed last time against Dark. So I'm excited to see this matchup as well. Of course. Who would have guessed? And we've already seen this base before, so, oh boy, this opener is at least going to be... I think this opener might decide what's going to happen for the rest of the match, but if it stalemates... Then we'll see. Oh, no. Oh. Five minutes to match start. Five minutes. So now that we got the five minutes. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> oh. So now we've now we've learned our our poor friend Jeb, who has had his um mic muted. Can they hear me? Hello, hello stream. It's just me at my show right now. Hello show. I'll be talking to myself. Who knew? But this is the exciting. So now that we're uh, about five minutes away from the match start, we're going to go into all the information once again with the breakdown of this lane. And then Jeb's, Jeb's, of course, still having the technical issues. He'll be right back. Can you hear me now? His yeah, okay. So, the okay, story there, there is my oh, computer hi. did Welcome something back. stupid and corrupted my mic source, but <laughs> easy enough to fix an OBS <laughs> setting. So I'm alive now. Uh, stream Can is still running. <laughs> Where are oh, we? Oh, my what gosh. It's, oh, just been, 
Hey, I'm back! Yay! Okay, it's this one of those days, I, I guess, huh? All right, well, I'm sorry. I had a whole big speech that you guys all missed. I am so sorry. It was a great speech. It was the probably the best speech I've ever heard, so oh, I'm, wow, you I'm sad me. that you guys all missed it. But yeah. I would say it was at least award-winning. So, oh, wow, okay. Award-winning speech. Guys, you guys have missed out. I, don't even, I didn't even know it was that good. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. All right. Well, that Five loosens minutes. the evening a little bit. What are we going to do? What are we going to do now? <laughs> We're going to talk about the same things before. Lane Smash, 24v24, yeah. capture the point. Smash. Speed Dose wow. version this time. Chimney Rocket is a neutral base here. Oh my god. Oh, you just look at one of the tech plants. Hey, Oka. <laughs> Too late. Tumas. Okats. Meet in the middle. Whoever is here at the end gets the base point. You play on th up and down the lane from there through Hayoka Chemical or Tumas Skylines through the mm -hmm. tech plants. I think we could show openers now, though, so we're close enough to max yeah, start. Yeah, I think we can show openers. I'm going to look at two late first. The middle. Yeah. Um, oh, my. Uh, chimney, I see... Just quickly, Chimney chimney Rock Depot, with the, when they capture the middle point, it, um, especially on the opener, uh, anyone can take this from the start at the very end. So it doesn't matter who starts capping Chimney Rock Depot. It matters who's on the point at the end. Indeed. Just very important to note. Very important to note. Uh, too Late has decided they're going to use the double pull trick to the full. They have double pulled, I think everyone has double pulled an ESF, tank, or even in one case, a liberator. Ooh. So, yeah, there are two double pulled liberators at uh, Tumas Tuck Plant. Uh, Dalton Lowe's driven, flown by Snails, who's a noted high skill liberator pilot, so he can probably make very good use of those. Trying to Dalton some enemy ESFs. Uh, looking at the OCATS side. I see. Look, look, those are all manned. Oh my gosh, that is one, two, yeah. three, four, five. That nine mag riders, ten mag yeah. riders, all of them appear to be manned. No double pulls. Three Sunderers and four Skyguards we... lined up in a row right at the back, all nice and neat and tidy. Do you see any air? I don't see any air. From... I see five Skyguards actually. Uh, let's look toward the back of the base. That's where the air usually hangs out at this place. Mm. Um, looking at the sky, looking at the ground. Do they oh, have no air? air for... Is this, like, oh. no air? That's a pretty uh, unique... Oh, there are three. Look there at are four, actually, see. five. And some of these might be That's double pulls, but air. there's at least five back there. Uh, back to the right, past the little rock hawk The will start in a minute and a half. Again, it'll be a minute and a half. A minute and a half. I'm going to follow the two late side in. I want to see this air. Uh, yep, that's fair. That's fair. I'm going to watch riders. the air. You follow the mag riders. You like your tanks. You get the tanks, I, I like get the points. The tanks. And, well, I'm excited for Too Late because they might actually pull harassers this match. They yes, they might pull harassers. Time. Screaming Panic is known to be and a bit of a harasser they, outfit. That's their main vehicle contingent, so. If they pull harassers again, that's how you get me excited, so I'll tell yes, you it what. Is. The match will start mm. in one minute on the next in-game okay. nanite tick again. One minute on the next in-game nanite tick. Well, it looks like we're going to have some of the mosquitoes are starting to get into the sky, get formed up. Getting ready oh, look to at go. You guys, Sky Guards. Okay, TZ, Sky Guards. They've seen, they've seen this opener from too late before, at least. Or, I mean, I mean, a mass airball was very matches. conventional opener. We're gonna see how good mm. the uh, too late Sky Guard, the, the okay, Sky Guards can deal with all of this. But thirty oh, seconds. <laughs> too Quickly, late on TR. Okats on VS. Let's get He's ready to win. go. Twenty seconds to go. We are with you the whole way. Um, are they flying already? No, they're just getting up to height. Okay, good. Do you have any predictions? <sighs> Ten, nine. I don't know. Eight, <laughs> seven. It could be anything. Six, five. It could four, be. Four. I have no three, idea. We're gonna find two, out together though. It's gonna be great. One, match start. They're off and racing. I'm gonna put my prediction on. Too late. I'm gonna win money. Okay. I'm not betting, but I wish. Too late. Too late. Got my money. Somebody bet. Uh, a bunch of invisible money with Bandy on too late and no caps. Yeah, give me give me invisible monies. All right, so the I'm air is flying down the lane. Business. They also have a rep gal moving down at real low altitude. Uh, they're so flying seen, high, getting ready we've... to meet air, and there is none. <laughs> <laughs> Where did it go? It's okay. They have all more or less stopped guards. moving. Um, <laughs> by chimney rock because so they're they looking to, for they air that doesn't exist. Where are the tanks, start, Bandy? Where are they? There they are. Ah, They're there they are. They're across the bridge right now, yeah, and then... They are just so getting mass nose gunned from the sky. Mm-hmm, that's what's... 
There you see a mass nose gun. There is a crazy now. bus just charging down the way. <laughs> it's going to get killed by mag riders, I think, but the nose gun fire is proving very effective at killing tanks so far. And oh, now the Okat Terra looking... showing up on a delayed push, but it's only like four or five. Meanwhile, Snails and the Liberator has already got a bounty somehow. <laughs> He's trying to dalt in ESFs. <laughs> Uh, this is rather very unconventional. I love B bracket lane smash. No super it's sweaty like meta, or I take the super sweaty meta and then just mess with it in weird ways that can be kind of entertaining. Unfortunately, no one's on point yet, so we're just gonna chill here for a bit. Let's wait and see who turns up first. I'm yeah. Meanwhile, too, uh, too late, late to is trying point. to focus is trying to engage magrars, but they're not focusing fire very effectively. That's gonna make their magra their prowess inefficient. Some magrars are also advancing along the way, but now the air is getting involved. That's gonna clean up one. I think they're going to get a second one here, too. The air has oh, returned to focusing the tanks. Okat's flipping the point finally with a lone engineer. Oh, no, it's an infiltrator. Never mind. <laughs> and let's see if they're going to actually start getting spawn beacons up so they can get infantry in. I mean, so far, Okat is actually doing much better than I thought they would. That's it's been a good opener. The fact that they, I think the too late air has just come in mass. I think yeah. they're being, yeah. Snails has had to land his lip. He's gonna have to repair it for a little while. Because the problem for him, because the mag riders are beginning to push that corner pretty aggressively. Uh, they're trying to hold. Too late's trying to hold the line here and falling back. Oh, that's a tank running into the liberator. Yeah, that's gonna have to get off and move away. Get that Dalton up and try to help out. So the mag rider at the back of the base. Um, there is a prowler. Is Ooh, this down, is going to so go down here to around. a prowler out on the east side. Who is this? I want to get your name. Oh well. Oh, someone's bet me a uh, hundred invisible dollars on too late. Wait, I was betting too late. No, that's, no, you got to bet Ocats. Who's going to bet hundred invisible dollars you on gotta, Ocats? Someone's going to bet. Yeah, someone's going to bet Ocats for the invisible. Oh, uh, the dollars. air is too late. Air is coming back and. Okay, there is also here too. This is just a continued vehicle fight here. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine with continued vehicle fight. This is great. This is awesome. This is. This I love they're just a liberator fights. going around. But we we both knew that this was going to be two vehicle heavy matches. So, um, both they, both these team in previous matches Ooh, have gone pretty hard on their own. Too opens. late has found a repair bus of Okats that is now getting focused by. A prowler and several mosquitoes. That's not going to last very long. Oh, it's going to deny a spawn. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. It's dead. Two minutes now on that capture point at Chimney Rock. So the mm -hmm. time is ticking down here. It's beginning to become, it's becoming a bit... Get, oh no, there's a Skyguard. That Skyguard has a few Too problems late. called prowlers. <laughs> That's going to cause you some issues, buddy. Seeing... Oh, there you go. Bye-bye. We're going to start seeing Too Late actually get some spawns over behind his base, which is going to start giving them access to... Uh, to near where the spawn room is now. Um, Okats has so pulled gonna... air, and they're not trying to ground pound the tanks, but yeah. Too Late's air is already moving to attack them. Okats have this interesting spawn beacon in the mass of all the buildings over here, though. So there's no spawn beacons on top of the rock, which I usually expect them to be. Snails has got this Dalton up and firing again. Uh, is there those Burster Maxes down there? I'm going too fast for a vehicle fight to follow the close action. There, oh, Okats has a stealth thunder here. I think maybe those are burster maxes. No, they're blue shifts. Okay. Oh boy. But they're way south of the Amatar. They're a long way from point. They're gonna need to have vehicle control to make that push properly. Otherwise, they're gonna get rocket potted to hell. And oh, back. the mosquito flipped over. Oh no. Oh boy. The two late mosquitoes um, are now really go. low. Trying to hop out the armor engagement as the prowlers are now. Oh, good focus fire from the prowlers. You're trying to get one of the one of the mag riders. Here we are, infantry meeting infantry. Too late, and Okats are now over on the uh, eastern side of the base of the. Too late's got point for a minute to go. Meanwhile, tanks are now coming vehicles. The tanks are now turning back toward Chimney Rock to provide support. Mm-hmm. You want Okats has adopted on the point. Okats has adopted a hold in the zigzag building. Away from the point, which now is beginning to bite them as the ground pounding is beginning oh, from yeah. too late air. Chunking the max is going to... Oh, gosh. Killing the infantry. Oh, oh the God. Infantry. They're getting air. Oh, They're God. getting air on point. Boomstick. Ground pounded. 
They're getting ground pounded. There's a Prowler Wait, driving up behind them. Prowler. There's a Prowler driving up behind them going for road kills. He takes a half of a chunk out of a max. The air of the ground is brutal. Absolutely brutal. But they're still making their way inside here as two is trying to hold. Contested but they're holding. No, it's flipped back. It's flipped back. Two has got timer oh. again. They need to get some medics in here if oh. resonates though. Otherwise, they're going to have a hard time holding this for much longer. Or maybe they go. won't, because vehicle control is now absolute. The rockets are awful. Oh, damn. That's going to be point for too late. That is going to be point for too late. Oof. Oh, Jesus. There you go. Let's see. Um, have they got the forward cap? Uh, I don't know if they do. Uh, I don't see a timer. There is somebody in the hex. So you... Oh, my. They still have to deal with OCAT's pushing... The point here, though. Like, Air was about to run inside. He needs to uh -huh. get taken down. Froppy does take him out. Here we go. Point is flipped. Point is flipped to a Skylance. Oh, Beacon yeah. Beacon is down. Shenanigans are afoot. <laughs> there is still oh, a VS boy. spawn beating here. That needs to die. Uh, maybe... No, I don't know. Somebody needs to come kill this thing. But otherwise... We're going to move the camera down to two Musk Island, so that's where time is. Yep. They've got a. They've got at least now a minute before they can go to the oh, points flipping Here comes back. The, yeah, Okats is already mass redeployed. Very quick response. Good on them yep. for that. May and there are not many. There are not many too late guys here. So this point's probably going to flip back. So if they can get set up back there, they've got twenty seconds. Uh, Okats is yeah, pulling another Skyguard here. The Skyguard's going hammer and tongs on the air, but I think most of that air is already on the ground. We'll have to repull. I see a lone Okat Scythe here. Uh, no, there's five of them. Lone Four of them. Scythe. Five. There's five now. I think Okat only has five pilots this match. As the Reseeker for Two Mouse comes in, that's going to give the armor guys some trouble. But hopefully they, are, hopefully they can get some support here soon. So yeah, the mass photon pause is going to be a problem. The two. So we've got a lot of uh, Okat's air now that are focusing down the armor for too late. Yeah. On the way between the bases. Let's have a look at what's going on with the prowlers over here. It's a harasser! Oh my god! Oh, there's a harasser. Tell us about the harasser. Is it, is it a... It looks like it's a, a bulldog harasser. What? Why is it a bulldog harasser? What are you doing? I don't know, bulldog is... Out of all the things oh, they, oh, they party bus the Sunderer. There was a party bus with two maxes inside. They, they are oh. running onto the point toward two musk islands now. They did a party bus. That's hilarious. Nice that's a nice little setup. Oh no, those are pounder maxes. They're gonna take down the repair sunderer. <laughs> then Lizard and Grizzleby are gonna take down that repair sunderer right quick, unless someone has done about them. And let's have a get it. They oh cats just friendly fired their own sunderer with photon pod. I'm not sure what the deal was with that, but now they're trying to get the infantry. Uh, so far they haven't had a lot of success. Lieutenant Lizard oh is gonna have health on his max. The Otherwise, oh, there comes the ooh, ow, 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 photon point. pods, photon pods, photon pods. That's a lot of oh, Scythe is hammering him. Ed, this is gonna be where the Scythe is strong for this open point base. Yes, yeah, Scythe will be strong. Air control is gonna be important here, but too late is so far right on schedule. Moving down, getting the point mm -hmm. as they are now oh, running for cover. Goes down. Ooh, Spandex just got mercy big time. Oh. As now Rapid is going around with the shotgun LA. He's got one. Does he get two? No, he just gets one. Harley Barrier goes up now to help defend that area. There we go. Two late are now getting a really strong hold here with the Maxes, Engineers, Galore. Rapid oh, is using boy. a Nightmare Shotgun and Ambusher Jump just to clean up two OCATS members. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Rapid is known for his Mimi strats and he clearly is uh, not stopping anytime soon. So, OCATs have an interesting spawn beacon on the side of the building here as well, especially where all they, they've left all their sky guards. Yeah, point is now flashing neutral. The OCATs has taken one of the mm -hmm. balconies and is going to have to hold the next one. Which actually is nice. They're all grouped up on one of the balconies. Uh, yeah. And it's pretty much a shoot fest be uh, between the Bodo two. Bodo has to jump out. Right now. X May is still there, but the Lost is moving into engage. Maybe moving into engage? No, retreating. They've got to get... Tulet's got to get somebody back on that point. Yeah, they're going to start moving forward now. Like I'm watching a tennis match. It's like... See, here's the center right. line. Too late. Okay. We just have the Australian Open over here. 
Uh, 15 love to Okuts. Uh, 15 love too late, technically, I guess. Ah, oh, it's hit the. Uh, it's too hit late the is net. serving. It's yeah, going to be. Uh, it's Okuts now. Time has to return serve. Snails is All in. On who has Saitama in a max. He's going to need some major repairs. He's down pretty far. But oh, Okuts is now pushed forward and. Oh, they pushed straight into maxes yes, about maxes. Is. Oh, God, what are you doing? No. No, no. Rapid comes in from a flank and cleans up most of the rest. And that's going to be point going back into your favor right at the last second. Oh. Well managed situation by too late there. They just didn't panic. They did what they needed to do. Where no, is the... I'll even give props to Turtle, who's at the previous base for Chimney Rock, who is um, a too late member who's been staying on the defense. So good job, Turtle. Good job, Turtle. <laughs> The irony is that Turtle was also one of the teams in A-Bracket, so I just find the, the name you know. It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh here comes the max push from Okats, though. We got a blue chip max of repair nade. A lot of sustain there going through. Uh, the gonna maxes are going to turn around. Oh, oh, yeah, but no, he's just way out DPS and outnumbered, so he's going to go down. Repairs help. Oh, boy. They do not make you invincible. As uh, he just very much learned. So, okay, so doing a good job here pushing the doorways, but they're not pushing in force as a group right now. And that's going to really yeah. make it hard to crack this hold. But if you get the multiple maxes and the support classes set up here, it makes it really hard to break. Especially when you got the pounders in to deal with the maxes and the mercies to deal with the infantry. It, it's This is a very powerful combo that they we're going to have to work on breaking. So far, this seems like a very passive fight. Like, Okats is still holding that balcony up there for a little bit. Okats is also um, dropping down the LA. He doesn't say want to flip the point, though. Yeah. He's trying to clear that gun platform. He gets one or two. Okats is now pushing hard for roof control, which is helping. It's support classes okay. of two are beginning to fall. The maxes are now exposed. So now they're forced to try to hold the points here. And do they have a spawn beacon? Oh, they do support. not. Do they have a Sunderer? Do they? I thought that one in the garage earlier. Is that one dead now? It looks to be dead. Yeah, there's no Sunderer here now. So, Point is no now back in VS too. hands. But... No uh, Beacon either, so... Too Late has still gotten some major timer up. So, well, I guess not and major timer. They got about a minute's worth of timer. Which is useful. Cats are already on the Point over here as well at Chimney Rock. So that's going to do an immediate flip unless they get the defense. Unless too late get a defense. Let's look at Chimney position. Rock now because that's going to be about 40 seconds. So keep an eye on the clock. 40 seconds. Uh, I'll head back over to Tumas. Oh, here comes Rapid to try to clear the point. Rapid's got an ambusher LA. He's looking for the Ocats player. He knows he's there. Oh, <laughs> Rapid. <laughs> Pick Who blinks first? Who turns around first? Oh, no. Neither of them see each other. This is hilarious. Do you see oh, this, Mandy? No. Yeah, I see this. Oh, Rapid and, Akira and, it. and Akira it's Ninja don't know where each other is. Rapid hasn't checked the crate, and Akira Ninja hasn't looked to the left in the past minute. <laughs> this is some okay. real amazing... This is I some real top-tier situational awareness here. This is what makes Rapid a great POC player. <laughs> this absolutely... It's a contestant player! Oh, he gets... Oh, oh, he got Akira Ninja, and Smalls gets oh. taken by Lieutenant Lizard. Well played. Well played. All right, worked out fine for them. That's the back cap defended. Ah, I see why too late was maybe a little low in numbers. Their air has come back. Oh boy. So back cap defended. Let's have a gander. Oh, I think Snails has got the lib out again. <laughs> He's done about half health though. He probably needs to get some repairs. Uh, too late manages to bag a mag rider with mossy nose guns. There's now a prowler rolling around out here. Perseus is now going to try to hold the road by himself. He's got a bounty. Wow. Okay. Lots of bounties in this lane smash match all of a sudden. Oh my god, that point has now got a lot more busy. Oh yeah. Okats is now, okay, got, is now on the point. Oh, now. I just glitched big hard. To, hard. forgot I was going too fast. <laughs> Okats is on the point. So okay. I see lots of heavies, but no maxes and medics. That's going to uh, make life a little difficult. I believe that they dropped... Uh, uh... A galaxy, and so that's why we're suddenly seeing them all in mass here. Oh, mm. and that's a uh, that um, mozzie blew up. Uh, yeah, but Badunky tries with Mosquito to Mozzie. get the beacon. Not a horrible trade. No, nah. that's going to deny them a mountain beacon for the foreseeable future here. And now the air is oh my still god, fighting. it's a mountain mosquito! Look at this mountain mosquito. It's amazing. Yeah, 
He's repairing the mountain mosquito! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This Let's is some great A entertainment here. 14 minutes to go in this half. We still have another half hour of this. I am so ready. <laughs> yeah, it's still 14 minutes. Oh my god. And oh, point is now. I, I need to focus on the point more. Okay, way. point is now neutral. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> too late went in with Max's again to resecure. Ooh, and I see some of the same people here. That were at Tumas Skylands, still in Maxis. So that was the perk of bringing those forward in the Sunderer. Is mm. now they still had full nanites for another max pool. Those same max players. So if those max stay alive longer. They will be able to continue to just keep pulling Maxis, which is going to cause problems for Ocats. But now they're pushing across the road here and through the building. But That's it a... is a cost of time to bring them guys over as well. Mm -hmm. It is a cost of time. Has, here comes the out. max crash from Ocats. Oh I don't God, think Too Late here. has air control, which means they're not going to be able to rocket this one to death. Oh, but they do have a Bulldog Galaxy or something of that sort. So the Galaxy is at he... least he's buying he's time. He's just resting there. He's just resting there. I think he's coming to pick up the Maxes after they resecure the point sometimes... here. But that, oh, well, that's just going to die. That point's resecured. Oh no, here come the yes, rocket pods. Flipped. Oh no. They just pushed the point, but to the Skylights is flipped. Has it really? Oh, excellent, excellent. Yeah, it's flipped. Beacon's up here, too late here. That, that, oh, Meanwhile, too late. This is a like fantastic point. delay in action by too late's maxes, just getting kills, yeah. buying time and attention. Pushing forward. Oh, cats, it's already stumped trying to ground pound and flip this back, but point is here. Calamity is here. Rabbit is dead, but he's got a beacon spawn available to him as more too late are starting to spawn in from the beacon drop. So, Ogat's oh, going to need to get a handle go. on this before it gets out of hand again. But okay, Dunkey, oh, but Dunkey is it the shotgun photo. But he's now got to deal with Boots, and he gets Boots as well, but he goes down and gets shot in the back by a Revolt. 30 seconds left on the point for the flip back. Yeah. Okay, TZ, have, re have responded very well getting onto point. Here quickly, comes Rapid. Mean up, Lord though. of Emerald, but he goes down. I need so, to take that beacon down. Come that on. Forward cap is ineffective, and there is Ocat. It's on point at Chimney Rock. There is. Okay, I guess there's only one non max at Chimney Rock. No, there's a few. Echo Ninja and Chaos, and a few others. Okay, cool. Two later, so they are ready to flip the oh point God, again. That was a lot. Woo! That was a lot of two late at once. Mm. Two late so far has actually been very timely indeed. I think they might yeah. need to change their team name. Can you do that okay, for playoffs, easy. I wonder? Xerath right now is bringing up a Bulldog Repair Bus. Ooh, that's going to cause... Yeah, that's going to cause a lot of splash damage. Oh, let's go have a look at the side. Xerath is going to also kill the beacon here. There it goes. Bringing the bus forward now. He, he needs to get some repairs off, but he's got the Bulldog. Oh, and they've brought Prowlers directly onto the point, and they're shooting straight through the windows. <laughs> that's going to... Solano's in a Comet Max, but Comet Max has still died of AP. Oh, he even just straight up redeployed? Yeah, I think they got the forward cap set up. Have they got... Oh, my God. They do. They do have a forward cap set up. They are set up nice and tight. Well done by by Too Late. Who I think... I, I must say, I think the name... They, they have had very good timing so far. So, well done yeah. by them. Cobra is going to try to peek, but he just gets triple peeked and goes down. Ray Twisted takes out Solano and CQC of an underboss. That south Rick. hold on the balcony is again the weaker one for two way. It's already beginning to go down, but it buys time, if yep. nothing else. So, Saitama We've is going to get wool so Yeah, the, the air see. is going to okay, be a TZ, problem to push for. for the other Sorry, yep. pack tactic. That's what you're saying. Sorry. I don't huh. know. They're pushing OKTZ, OK, pushing onto the balcony now. But yeah. they're already being taken out by two late. Point is contested by Rapid, who's going to get one and two and three medics before going down. <laughs> but two ways don't have a hard time pushing fight. because, well, they have timer still because guess what? Maxes don't cap points. They just help out a lot. So Akroninja is standing here, but he can't do anything that actually can t change the point situation. His support guys back here, they got to get forward. Come on, come put the point back. Contest Point's contested, but it's just still going to TR because the Max can only contest it, can't flip. Okay, now game is here. That's going to flip the point over. That's that's good for the oh, cats. Meanwhile, Too Late is very content to sit on this balcony for the time being. 
as Okaz is now going to try to push here. Apollo is going to get one or two. The Resonate goes out for too late. That's going to get Nerdless and a couple more. Where is the C4 here for too late? That would have been a great opportunity to try to C4 some mans, but... Whatever the case, the Resonates are powerful. So two it's trying Ooh. to hold this, but they're going to get wiped in the end. Yes, well, Nerdles can throw a resonate here. No, he cannot. He's gonna go down immediately on reviving. I'm gonna have a quick look around to see what spawns they have around the place. Oh, the harasser's back! Hello, so I got distracted. Where's the harasser? Oh, he's gone off towards uh. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, cats <laughs> mag riders are now facing off against. Ooh, that's gonna be a problem for too late. Mm -hmm. Uh, the oh, cats air. You know, now those mosquitoes. There is now more errors arriving to nose gun the tanks. They're even pulling hornets to deal with the I tanks more gonna effectively. Have this hold. I reckon they're going to have this hold for a minute, so I'm going to start expecting them to uh, start having a full uh, wire back cap here. A lot of vehicles are being used by okay. both sides here. Oh, yeah, there's the harasser. Yeah. Two prowlers are going to clean up uh, the mag Now Zeretz going to be able to bring the thunder into minutes. the play. Eight minutes! But they're going to bring it up closer. There's an, oh, that's a Skyguard, I think. Or an AP Lightning. It's going to go down anyway to Prowlers. Prowlers are now going to focus the Mag Rider driven by Dirk. He's not going to last long against that kind of firepower. No, he goes down. And Sykes are trying what. to nose gun the tanks. I think Too Late's got a vehicle control right now, but they need to get some infantry on the point to flip this. Mm-hmm. They do have a Sunderer here, at least. They've got a rep Sunderer. But it is not deployed. Oh, no, they get the point of that one. Gets, but they're killing the vehicle turrets. Um, they have a Viper Lightning they gotta deal with now, too. They actually have a and lot of Lightnings. Okats has pulled three Skyguards here. Too late should just push that with their Mag Riders and clear the flak. They have, wait, whoa, hang on, no. Correction. Okats has five Skyguards up right now and a Ranger Harasser. Or is that, that is a Walker Sunderer, sorry. Okats need My to vision is bad sometimes. They put a big oh, here comes the Galgar from Too Late. It's gonna die! Oh no! So many dead people on that roof. So many dead maxes. That's a huge nanite swing. Resonate's gonna go out. One medic did make it out. TR Lightning. He's trying to get everybody back up. Point and he's going to do it, actually. Rock. Yeah, the, the maxes need all kinds of repair work, but they're alive, which is the important thing. So Ripley is going straight forward, not caring about repairs. Hell with that. And Two Lit's gonna flip the point back now. Oh, wait, no, they're back capped. Back and forth and back and forth. This is some great lane smash. Okats has a back up here, but it's only one dude. Two dudes. Kron is going to go down mm -hmm. to shotgun fire. And Rap is going to use the Nightmare to get TN Trooper. Oh, man. Oh, boy. The back cap shield so is made, good. To... That's going to flip that back in about 30 seconds. They're going to have four. They're going to be able to flip the point at two Moss Skylines. Did they stay? Mm -hmm. But they are. They oh, did. Another... They're a little spread out right now, but they did. They still have four maxes here, which is the important detail. Meanwhile, so what happened is that a scythe, a scythe managed to get the beacon in, drop it in, and then get back in the scythe to drop in all the other Ocats players in, um, right at the very start there, which was a nice little, a nice little. Um, oh yeah, Ocats is actually set up now. They're gonna have to come in. back. Yeah. This is a serious point hold. This is the beacons there, to are, do a however, on top of Ooh, the they building. Got a, they got a spitfire right in the middle of the room. I like that. Just shoots at everything. The beacon is in a vulnerable position. Oh, but they have a beacon in the rocks now as well. Okay. That is all within EMP range, though. One good EMP beacon. It's going to knock them all out. The rocket pods are also brutal right now. Oh, yeah. There goes the, there goes the hard light. Another C4 goes off. This might be, this might be a tie for the first match. This might be a tie for the first match. This is looking good. Four and a half, well, a little over four and a half minutes to go are on the clock right now. So, it's still possible, very possible, for either team mm -hmm. to cap a base at this point, but too late to window is closing to the point where they just need to play defensively. Rapid's going off the shotgun. He's getting kills. So, They're working the doorways. They've got the Punishers out. Shout out to Adursa, who might actually not lose those uh, 100 Zimbabwean dollars yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see for the second match, though. 
Oh, okay, so it's set up in here pretty good. Too late's gonna need to get organized to push this. But at the same time, Jiggy Boomstick runs in and gets one. Like, th they're picking away slowly. Yeah. But with the medics, but I don't so know how much far, picking yeah. away you can actually do. Oh, there's a harasser in here! Let's get it Oh in the no! Oh no! Okat's air has arrived. That's gonna make pushing in very difficult, but the harass the bulldog harasser is here and causing problems. This that is kind of splash damage is what's Okat's gonna air. help really make this push possible. Here comes the push. Oh, They're breaking God. the rim now. Yeah, that air came too late. Uh, yeah, Okat's air was too late this time. That's a frag. Okay, Ooh, that gets several late. kills, but it's not enough. Point firmly we back in two late hands here. now. Are we seeing a big infantry push with Max's? Uh, actually, only four come around from the uh, south here. Yeah, that, but okay, Boots is on the rock to go here. They've got, a, they've got a beacon on the other side of the rocks, which is going to allow them a push angle, but it's not a great one. Oh, and there's a lot of Ocats coming in from the building as well, so they're getting... So too late to court in the middle right now. Yeah, but they've got they have twenty four people on the ground right now. They are really this is this is a straight up infantry fight. Boomstick goes down to Dirk and Hammy. Hacker Ninja Bodo and Cobra and Arrow are all in Max is trying to bring some extra firepower in. No, I'm seeing I think but oh, yeah, so I think far the get medics this. are doing so far the play is working. TR Lightning is holding, uh, uh, Tulate is holding from all angles at once. PJ Turtle goes down. He's going to need to get a res. He needs some more repairs, too, obviously. Here comes the, the beginning of the max breach. Arrow's coming in, but he's taking a lot of fire. He has no support, and he's just going to go down. Without repairs, Maxes die very quickly. They concentrate a small arms fire, and that's exactly what happened there. As many smalls are Look going down. Look how much down. air. Oh, from the spawn room. Too yeah, late somebody needs to res PJ that's... Turtle, though. He's getting a res. Oh, big res for Ocats. I don't know if that's going to be enough, though. Huge fight over the point. Alright, too late looks to this be holding. Massive. There's another resident for Oketz, but I don't think it's going to be enough people. That time is running down, though. They're going to run out of time soon. Yeah, point is now out of play for all sides, so the smart thing to do at this point would be to save your units and wait for second half. Mm -hmm. But. Wow. This is great. This is match. awesome. But just because one team has won the the first half, this second half can still go either way. That's only a single point. That's only one point. Nobody has won this game yet. This is not over. No. no not way, at all. No oh, Katz is ground pounding here, but points out of play, so Tula can just kind of chill out. Yeah. They don't have to worry quite as much. So what we need to do is we get a dance party going now on point. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, not until the half expires, and they have to go <laughs> off the continent. However, Man. one scythe is burning. He's going to land a repair. I mean, the important thing now is to just not use any nanites that you don't have to use. And the answer is you don't have to use any nanites right now. One minute left in the half. One minute. One minute. Revolts. Go. Apollo's going to go a... down to rip PJ Turtle. That was a good hold, though. But... Yeah, too late, managed to get in. I'd say if the air got in earlier, even though I... You know what? Still seeing the Cypher uh, anti-ground here. I haven't seen them making a big impact on the too late guys so far. Hmm. Like, they're still coming in mass. They're very focused so far. But here very, we are, going focused. for the brownie points. The, the brownie points for whoever holds the point at the end of the match. <laughs> yes, the meaningless brownie points. It's 10 seconds to go. I think it's going to be too late. Looks like Ocas is largely pulled back. <laughs> yeah, they've pulled back. Conserving nanites now. Always the important thing. Yeah, there's one more end mosquito. Of half, going to end of half. Pod his, pad please, his KD all players leave the continent. I will let you know when you can rejoin. But please spawn on another continent. I apologize for yeah, the we get rid of everyone. Else. Boom. All right. Perfect. Perfect. This has been good. I'm I'm glad to be here for this match. What have you thought about this first half? Oh my god! Everything. Everything. Everything, everything at everything. once. There's, there's a bit of everything. There's a bit of air. There's a bit of infantry. There's a bit of harassment. There's a, there's a bit, bit of a everything. Of there, there was, was a, a lot fight. of everything. There was a good fight in the middle of these two bases. 
and I was like, this is a mid lane fight. You don't see many of those. No, you don't. <laughs> Even in B rare. bracket nowadays, you don't bash. see many mid lane fights. It's go from base to base. No. You just base hop. Oh my god. It was that is amazing. Once you have spawned on another continent, you may deploy back to Amorish. Again, you may now return to Amorish. Shout Apple out to the PS in nine minutes. Shout out to the PSP organizers on Rest here for the tournament for getting these lane flips down. Uh using they've rediscovered some lost art here of being able to flip the bases incredibly quickly. So the teams don't have to wait for forever mm -hmm. to come back to the continent nowadays. Uh which is a big, big help. So, shout yeah. out to that, because that is a do it. stupid fast it. flip. That was. Huge shout Here out. Here we are, That's already awesome. back the Teams the are already able to go back. back. They're always able to start to yeah. pull their vehicles and get themselves organized. It's so much better. Uh, so much better for the teams. That's awesome. But, I guess the score kind of tells the story, but not really. Because Too Late got not that really. first point. They got the vehicle control. They had the air control. They were able to use... They played at a good combined arms half. They really did. I think air so was pretty for gonna... nanites later on because they mm. didn't have much air toward the end of the half, but they were able to keep making it work and keep the scoreline 1-0. It's... It just shows how important the opener is as well, though. Yes. Like, that opener could have decided this whole match now. So... Hmm. It will be yeah. it'll be interesting to see if Ocats learn from how Too Late have played out. Do you are you expecting to see the same kind of air ball from Too Late for the second half compared to the three or four air that you Ocats know, have had last time? The armor surprised me a great deal from Ocats because they've been recognized as one of its better air forces of all the B bagger teams, so I thought they would lean more into Again, that. both teams can return to the continent. Both teams may return to the continent. Maybe it was a little too fast for the teams to realize they were allowed back on. Maybe the flip was too quick. But either way, <laughs> uh, I was surprised to see that from Ocats. I'm not. I'm gonna be completely honest. Yeah. Uh, it also didn't really work on them. But the biggest mistake I think they made, honestly, of the whole match, was and I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to in-game view here. Mm. The lane's been flipped, by the way, guys. Uh, was hiding in this zigzag. Is it what the balloon is generally really? called on Emerald? Yes, because the issue here was this this strategy would work, but they needed to have air control because they pushed, and then they got immediately coated with rocket pods and yeah. just cut down. Many of them got cut down before they even got halfway to the point building, which get, took, took so much if, power out of your push. If they would have held on the point, if they would have held on that point, uh, it took them it took too late so long to get to that point, and they only got there at the very end. Too late got there they... like a minute to go, so let's. But yeah, that's not a lot of time for a repush if you don't. You have time yeah. for a repush, but you're really desperate at that point. I would say that that might be it. Might might have been their biggest problem, because I mean, too late did have some trouble breaching Ocat's holds later on, mm -hmm. and those holds had less maxes and were probably less organized, just because openers tend to be the most organized part of any team's play, no matter what bracket or skill level they have. So I think that right there could have been a big deal for uh, could have been a big deal as to why Ocats lost that base. But at the same time, and we had can... we've had liberators, mm. we've had harassers, we've had all manner of lightnings and MBTs, ESFs, galaxies. We're only missing a flash so far, I think. Hmm. Oh, I think we. Like, I think I'm missing the Flash and the Valkyrie for my bingo card. Oh, and yes, the Valkyrie, too. But, we, can't, we cannot forget the humble no Valkyrie. Playing, I cannot forget. It's like the Sky Harasser. It is the Sky Harasser. <laughs> Sky Harasser. Though substantially <laughs> weaker in every way. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've got some It doesn't work. As, I must friends. say, having, like, the yeah, low-cost no. nanite vehicle that requires people to work together to work well is less effective when the solo vehicle flies faster than the... Than the <laughs> cheaper vehicle, and I mean it's understood Actually, as I... to why it makes sense from a game design standpoint. But the Valkyrie's yeah. always had a bit of an awkward place since it was introduced because it's just in many ways a worse galaxy. What what if we had a vehicle that two people could drive at the same time, and then you have to fight for control? 
Oh gosh, I don't <laughs> think about the kind of problems that could cause. The you coding think, headache think alone, like I think, would make even the most seasoned PlanetSide <laughs> 2 developer just have an instant migraine. Because, <laughs> you know, like the rail carts, where you have to, like, um, you push and pull, uh, push and pump the, um, the handle for to make it go forward. What about like that? Have that a mechanic, just to make it absolutely stupid, has no reason in the game, just for shits and giggles. Why not? <laughs> And make it a and make it a sky vehicle just for more annoying. <laughs> Indeed, I love it. Um, yeah, no, I agree. And they've been using that zigzag building a lot. For OKTZ, have been using this as their main gather up point, and then push into the um, into the A point. From what I've seen as well, because um, there's been a couple of times where they'll gather up in there, and then they'll make their b- a big push, which has worked out for them in some cases. Um, for their yeah. pushes back onto the point, it's worked some, but it was also I think that's just because they were lucky that Tule didn't have a bunch of rocket pods ready to drop on their heads at the same time. Yeah, so they didn't have a galaxy to drop on their head though. <laughs> they did have a galaxy, yes, that was true. <laughs> I think that was supposed to be a uh, pick up the maxes and fly on the two Musk Islands galaxy that ended up getting the caught in the push and going down, which mm-hmm. hurts on the nanites. But another big play that Too Late managed to have is that one medic managed to survive that galaxy getting shot down at Two Moth Skylands. And he rezzed everybody else in just a great moment of keeping the Maxes alive, keeping that nanite oh, investment wow. going. Those little things are going to help a lot over the long run. If uh, Yep. Because nanite fatigue is going to become an issue in this match. Let's be honest. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. So many vehicles have been destroyed on both sides. I'll so be many. I'll stats afterwards if we have them. Oh, yeah. I want to see the vehicle kill stats. I think that might yep, be a thing. I, same. Actually, I might be able to pull that up now, actually. Ooh. If they were doing it Let's... the way I think they were. Hang on. Here's one we've possibly prepared Swiddle... earlier. Can I get the live stats? Uh, ground stats. Also, shout out to chat, who has been amazing this match. Um, is it tracking properly? I don't think so. I see lots of zeros. Either they're tracking... Oh, hang on. There's something going on here. Uh, Okay. Hang on. Uh, Flash is destroyed. Harass is destroyed. It's destroyed. It's not counting kills, but it might be counting casualties. I'm looking at the stats now. Okay. That works. No. All I know is there's some sort of point thing here, but the stats are a little scuffed. I'm sorry, guys. However, we are within range of showing the second half openers, so let's do that. I'm going to go look at OCAT's first this time to mm-hmm. uh, make sure both sides get equal time. OCAT still has a lot of mag riders and sky guards. Uh, I see Kai count six, seven, eight, nine mag riders. One minute to round start. One and minute. Uh, a few sky guards. Not as many as left. I know they still have the five sky guards all nice and grouped together. A few repair buses that I presume have AA guns as well. But since we're short on time, I'm going to cut that a little short and go to Too Late. Mm, Too Late has got some aircraft. I don't think they're double pulling, though. Not at this time. And they also have a fair few Prowlers. I count six. Plus some Sunderers. So, okay, I'm going to follow uh, OCATs in this time in the interest of keeping things equal and following <laughs> two things at the openers. Eight, but, oh, they seven, have more scythes, too. They have the same six, five scythes. Five, four, Perfect bell. three, two, one, round start. Five sky guards, five scythes. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Ooh, <laughs> and one Magrat or jams a tree right off the start and gets turned around. <laughs> It was not perfectly balanced. No. OCAT's now going across the bright bridge at Hale Chemical. That's always risky because teams can uh, attempt to hack it, but it looks like their air is already watching out for just that eventuality. Uh, as the OCAT's air is already like... having in to engage. Oh, there we go. There's the two. Oh, they're air. focusing it's the lib. Above. Here comes the Dalton round. Oh, just boy. misses an ESF. Just misses deleting an ESF. Ooh. 
Very scary. This is a very long-range air duel. Okats is trying the bait too late over the Sky Guards. Too late so far, not buying it. Uh, make it makes it easier for Too to dodge the mosquito, the coyote volleys as well. So, Snails and his Liberator is pulled back to a safer distance. I think he might be. Oh, he is dodging tank fire. It seems from the Mag Riders. Oh, that's a bit of a hard thing to do, guys. Uh, if the Liberator that's can see it so coming. That's so many Mag Riders. Oh my golly. So many mag riders. This is going to be a great vehicle fight again. So many mag riders. But this is the thing. The attention of the air is already being turned to the ground. That's going to make it really hard for the mag riders to get a whole lot of work done. As oh, Okath appears to be at least either choosing to focus the tanks for the time being to try to draw out the scythes or something of that sort. One air vehicle just crashed. I think it was a scythe based on the particle effects, but I'm not certain. Meanwhile, Okats appears to have some infantry making their way, maybe making their way to point, trying to. So we still, yeah, still yeah. nothing on point yet. Still but... nothing on point. Hey, who Lots knows? of maybe G to A from to OK point. to Z. But also, there isn't a lot of... There isn't, like, much... Like, once these scythes die, there's nothing that really stops the air from killing the ground. So the scythes are doing a good job staying alive, but already the rockets are already beginning to hit some of the sky guards. Yeah, one ESF goes straight into the rear of the sky guard. They're going to start trying to pick away at the armor here. I don't think Okat's air is enough to stop them from doing that. There's just too much of it. Too much from too late. I'm absolutely loving this vehicle fight to the east, though, between the oh, Mag yeah. Riders and wow. the Prowlers. Oh, yeah. Wow, Mag Riders right and Prowlers squaring off here. Who looks cares like about the Looks like the Mag Riders are winning so far. Yeah, it's looking like it's Oh, so but far. there's a, the points under her here. Looks like they're beginning to maybe try to get some rocket heavies going. They've got a beacon. That's too late. Let's like try and position the infantry early. Oh, points finally flipping. Let's see who he has on point. Oh. It is Okats. Okats has got point first. Well, that doesn't mean they have it last. Who knows? I was going to say, maybe we just go the whole game without the point flipping. I'll be fine with that. <laughs> 30 minutes of no <laughs> point action. That would truly be oh, Wing Smash. Oh, nice. yes. And Let thank you, Rush Reach, for turning the lights back on. Now we can see much better. This is what happens when you don't pay your electricity bills. Well, the PSB uh, admins just paid theirs, so now we have the lights back. Perfect. Yes, I like this quite a so, bit. Lots of two-way air is now going on. dead. Yeah. And their air is pulling back. They're letting Okats have vehicle control, which means they're going to have point control for the foreseeable future. The, literally, the Okats air is fighting over... My god, they're close to a chimney rocket... Uh... Uh, West Pass, oh, West they're Tower flanking. Right there is more air here. They're look just at, trying to get around and catch the sights. Look sides. at this mountain. Look at this mountain of air. Yeah, all of their air is hiding out around the mountain, using that for cover. And trying to work their way through the Okats vehicles. Okats playing super defensively. Very slowly moving forward. Very slowly just moving the line. Snail's Liberator is now on fire. Can he escape? I think he can. He gets his fire step and lands the repair. Meanwhile, the Prowlers are trying to get more Mag Rider kill. The Prowlers are still re-engaging the Mag Riders. They get one, but one goes down in return. But this Mag Rider by himself, not trying to use cover. He's going to get out DPS by two Prowlers big time. Even with a Sauron on Top Gun, if that's manned. The Akronage is already low on health. He needs to get to cover before he gets focused and destroyed. So, Okats are doing a very good job um, defending this backside of the base so far, because what happened last time is that we saw Too Late actually um, manage to set up their Sundays at the back of this base once they were taken, once the Okats were taken out from the behind. So, if they can keep yeah. this held down, I think they're going to do a good job, and they're actually going to capture this point. I think so Okats far... is running out of Mag Riders, though, and Too Late still has a few they problems are... left. That's going to cause them problems. But timer is becoming a critical thing at this point. What's the timer left? A minute 40. Minute 40. I suspect we're going to see a gal drop attempt here. Yeah, there's so a gal drop flying super news. low. He's already focused and destroyed. Yeah, there goes their gal pull way too low in the sky. 
everyone is it's anybody alive here pj turtles alive oh. and nerdless is alive they're gonna res everybody but they're still oh, way they're short resing. of the point they yeah, don't have yeah, time to get there it's a point in time minute 20 get some harasses in <laughs> minute 20 okats has brought a lightning onto the point they're bringing more maxes they have a mag rider still in reserve at the point oh, look at this mag rider Ooh. on the point Mag Rider and Prower engaging at the road bridge. Mag Rider, is Prower has popped Barrage, which means that, that Mag Rider is probably... Oh, no, he just barely escapes thanks to the boots coming in to save him. I'm calling it now. Okats have this point. I think they do, unless unless Too Late can do something in the next 30 seconds or so. I'd say they do. Unless unless this Too Late guy put down a beacon instead of jumping uh, there's down. There's Too Late beacon. There is a Too Late beacon. Down. Where? Uh, oh my God, behind the rocks. The there's rocks. now two of those. Woo! Oh, two of those. Point is now neutral. Oh, how no! did how did too late? Oh, okay. It's not really a real push. Not I guess really. like three people ran in and died. Okat still has us a few seconds to go, the but they're trying now. to push in. Here they come. There's a mag rider there. Their mag rider isn't <laughs> the stopping them though. They're getting by the onto the point. They're getting resonates onto the, the point. Mag gone. Mag rider's what? gone. They need to get something to deal with the maxes. They need to get some C4 in or something to kill these maxes. The Apollo still is at full health. They have got to get some maxes. They got to get some resonates. They got to flip the point. But the squishies are all dying, oh, actually. Point alive. is flashing. And the beacons are down. The beacons are down. Well, then that might be point to OK. I guess that is point to OCATS. Okay. Wow. That I was close, to, though, because they want, almost ran out of squishies to keep the liar. point control. I did not want to be a liar. <laughs> no, there's still another TR beacon here, but they're, running, they're basically out of time to push. OCATS has recovered and reset. So that's going to be... Oh, here comes the last second attempt from... Oh, huge drop pod push. But it's going to be a little too little too late. Okats gets the first base. We are now tied. Okats. Tied! We are tied. For the first time all tournament, I think this is our first time we've had an actual tie. Oh, God. So, okay. Can... Too late, get back on the point. There's still a lot of infantry here. Is there a back cap back? What would that be? Two Musk Islands again. There is still like a small group of Ocats here, but I don't think like, they're about to have to deal with a Max pushing the roof. If they can see for him, it's great, but if not. No, they all go down. Is there a back cap of Skylance? There. No. Too late was already Isn't... quick on the resecure. That would, yeah. Okats is here, but too late is already in on the point. Uh, they, they're going to need some more beacon spots here. It's going to try to jump up to get onto the roof. He gets a revolt, but can't get the rest of the way, apparently. He's going to try to jump. Oh, can he get up there? Come on, Calamity. He got it. That's a dead beacon now. Kaboom. So, Smalls is now on the roof, but he's going to get cut down by Calamity and Xeris Lord. Riley Wolf is manning the vehicle turret, which might actually be helpful of engaging the Mag Rider. That's going to force the Mag Rider to actually have to really work at it. And our cats have kept up a decent defense as well. There was a there was a couple of lone two light guys back here, but um, now completely cleared out. It's poor Max there though. Still is waiting no for a rest. cat for too late yet though. No. So it is. We're in currently the limbo. So uh, since we are tied here. And since there is no yet like no serious captain on either base, I'll take the moment of slightly reduced intensity to mention a tiebreaker procedure for tiebreaking procedure for lane smash. Uh, for group stage, there is no tiebreak; it's just a draw. Uh, it will affect the group stands, of course. Each team gets one point, and then the tiebreaker uh, would then shift if they are tied at the end of the group stage, which these teams might be, would shift to point differential instead of head to head. So. Out of, out of all the games to actually be a tie, this would be the one I'm okay with it being a tie. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Rapid manages to get Arrow. The Okat's Air is still here. I just think Tule's just waiting for a pull. They're using Round Locks to try to help thin in the herd a bit. Yeah. One Scythe is on fire. Are they going to get one last missile into him? I guess not. Oh, Gats is now bringing up two Sunderers, is... three Sunderers, actually. One is a Stealth. I think it's about to a point. They've got a Beacon here as well. So here comes the push from Ocats. 
Oh, here comes the back, uh, the back cap. With just a single person. Oh no, That's two people need now from too late. Three people, four people. Oh my god, this is turning into a hold really quickly. Oh my god, look into the beacons. They've gone crazy. Too late, have held, um, got a hold on Chimney Rock now. That they do, that they do. Now the Okat's here is immediately turned around, but it's too late. All of the too late players are now inside, and they have lock-ons to help deny the air, or at least annoy them. This is glorious. The photon pods are continuing to fire in, but they have, again, the beacons are still there. And now they've got almost a minute of timer. Ooh! Ray Schwista takes out Cobra with a drop pod, I think. That was a great moment. They're shooting the Scythe right into the building. Oh, he flips over. He over flips the over building. and crashes. Can Trooper is now crashed. That's two Scythe down in a, um, less than as many minutes. Oh, That's going to reduce ground power a bit. And here comes the Okat's push. Okat's is trying to get inside here. But big C4s are coming out. That's going to keep things going. Like Tom Mutt. Solano's got a max. Can he get C4? Ooh, he gets C4 and goes down. Grizzle Bee's... Oh, there's one corner has wiped, though. That's going to need to resonate. And another max is coming in with Spandex. Can they get a C4 into him? Otherwise, he's probably going to wipe the whole building. I'm going to give a quick Spandex does get C4. The, the resonates come out. Spam. Oh! This is a tight point, but I think Okat Too Late's going to hold just barely. Just barely. Good resonate at the end to make sure everybody stays up. Well, that basically guarantees Too Late's going to pass the halfway mark of this resecure. And yeah. that's a chance for him to take the lead. 20 seconds left. Also, I think Too Late's got a beacon still, because more people are dropping in and arriving. So let's see how they're forming up so far. There is a lot of OKTZ on the outside, though. There is you know a what? lot of OKTZ on the outside. But they can't get inside, mm. and inside is where the point is. However, at the same time, too that late is... can't get outside. They can't kill that beacon, they can't kill the ESFs, so they can't do anything. Rage Quisted gets quad by x -May. I think that had to be quad with how fast he went down. Too late's trying to hold the corners. Doing the right things, but Dunkey goes down. This is getting inside, but he just gets taken down by Froppy and Rapid. More and more too late are getting inside the point still. That's not what you want, okay? Guys, you gotta isolate that and box them in. 90 seconds to cap now for too late. Here we go. Minute 14 left. Minute 14 to go. What is going on outside? I think I got a moment here. I can sneak out. There isn't a really big push. They have two mag riders. I think. Oh, they are. Oh, too late brought up a prowler or two prowlers, and they're just cleaning out all the OCATS vehicles for free as they're all on infantry. If they can make the hold happen, that's actually a great move here to try to get some nanite balance going. On, I don't see a big push. West is pushing with a max, but he has no. no support. He has no engineer. He's got a medic which is really low on health. Even the Cobra. spider is showing a big push right now. They're kind of all kind of scattering in. This is going to be less than a minute to good. go. Oh my gosh, the this prowler is, is back! The Prowler's gonna kill a Max! Oh, God. The Prowler oh, shoots no. the Max straight in the back. Rapid's gonna get clean up some of the other push. A huge flank just denies that Okats. Is surviving. You know what? That Prowler. That Prowler. Oh, it's man. A work. The Prowler cheese is real. 15 seconds! Oh, God! I don't think I can't There's lots it. of dead VS on the point. They're trying to res. They're trying to push, but I think it's going to be too little. No. Too late. Five, five. I have to say it. Yes, it too is. Late. Too At late comes back to take the lead. Two to one in this match with 15 minutes to play. Mark. Oh, sh oh my God. This game is not over. But, oh this my is God. not over. Ogas could take Chimney Rock back and we're tied again. Okas could take two Moss Skylance, but they're running low on time to do that too and maybe win. To do both, they need about 8 to 10 minutes of game time. So that window is alive but closing. And, is there um, a back half at Chemical, like... pa uh, Bandy? Is there a back no, half at Chemical? There Not isn't. yet. Okats are there, ready for the defense, but there are no TR here. No one 
in the hex. So all that defense is for nothing. They've got a whole squad here so far for the defense. And there's no one here. So they got to use this time and start forming up. My god, the whole... The whole platoon's pretty much here. Yeah, I think both teams are now trying to just sit in their corners. Too late does not need to risk anything at this point. The clock is on their side. They are in the lead. They have the neutral base, which is hard to take. One Scythe gets Prowlered, I think. Okay, here comes Riley, though. Riley Wolf from Too Late is on side. JJ Boomstick is here. Are they both dead? I think they're both dead. Okay. Okats is now repulling Mag Riders. I think they're going to try to recontest Chimney Rock. They kind of, they have to. If they want to get a draw here. And a victory is becoming ever less likely than every second that ticks away. Man. Oh, here we go. Point flipping now. Uh, just, as, just as Okats. Yep. Hayako Chemical flipping. Just as just Okats. As Okats please, they put... Ooh, that's rough. That is rough. But they are immediately on it. They managed to get snails. So he was the one person back capping there. So that gets a resecure almost immediately. Also, the Okats air is now making life harder for the too late armor. So that looks like the temporary vehicle control at least to Okats. But as the Nagars are busy with killing the Oh they did they did catch it. They did catch the Sonderer. Almost made it through. Oh, but here's the push. They brought the maxes up by bus again. The maxes are here by bus. Charging toward the point. Three maxes, two medics. Not a lot of repair there, but maybe that's what matters. Also, beacons are now dropping. Is Tulit's going to make a serious push at, chimney, at Chemical here? Point is flipping at Chemical. What about Chimney Rock? I'll go back to Chimney Rock now. The point is flipping. They have timer. Them run. They have the forward cap. Oh, it was close here at Chimney Rock. Oof. They've got they've got Ocats here, but that point no flipping. That point no move. Hmm. Okats is already ground pounding though. But this space has got the powerhouse. The mighty building of infantry holds. And the mighty powerhouse. Yeah. The There's... ability to turn night from day. And the ability to really just turtle <laughs> up inside and make you and make them drag you up by your ankles. They have not Tule has not hacked the infantry terminal and the L building to the south of the base. That's a Yeah. That's a thing. I mean, I don't know if they have to do it, but it's always nice to have that little place you can get a pocket max up, maxes out from in your pocket. And we're seeing the bridges are still on Vano as well. Oh, I'm like the push. The bridges. That's the oh, yep, Kat is pushing. They, they have Scythes literally parked practically outside of Dubs trying to wall pot in. And they're taking Dubs control, but Big Red, they comes out for too late. That's going to make that's something they have to deal with now. Yeah, Okats is pushing, but they're losing support classes, and they need to get some reses out. A big res day comes out for too late. This is burning nanites, though, and burning, but more importantly, it's burning the medics' grenade bandoliers. Having that last res day can be a difference between losing or keeping a base, as Okats is trying to take the point. Chilfury tries to rush forward and C4, but he gets a res nade. Oh, no, there's C4 there. If they can do it, I think it has C4 right on top of all of Okat's medics. If they can detonate that, it's a huge deal. Rapid goes in, can't do anything, but Okat's can't push through dubs. That's where the point is. Oh, oh huge C4! Kills people. half of Okat's force behind the entire server is dead. Oh. X-May has a phylactery, though, so he's going to get back up. They do get a resonate. Arrow is trying to push against Rage Twisted. Rage needs to get back. He does go down. Okats might be making some steady ground here, but it is a grind and a half through these 50s doorways. A big C4 here could change everything for either side. Okats is just going hard to the support classes. They're holding the stairs. The maxes are coming through. One LA goes for point, but Snails is there to clean up. Oh no, actually. Okats, it, too late, is wiping. Unless they can get a resonate, too late is going to be wiping. I think, yeah. That's point back to VS, but that was a long push. That was a lot of timer. And a substantial nanite investment. Point flip. That's two bets. I mean, that only that push only left. cost Oops. too late some grenades, a C4 brick or two, and some nanites. Yeah. Like, because they brought the Maxis 4 from Chinny Rock over the bus. So that's also, I guess that might be 200 nanites. The bus is dead now. 
The powerful but powerhouse. Powerful powerhouse. Oh no, and the rocket pods have arrived. <laughs> We're too late. That's going to make pushing... Uh, oh, oh, no. V, uh, VS has the point now. So. That means they're going to have to push that again if they want to get the base. Or they can just play for timer. As Too Late's armor steadily wears down the defenses of Okathak Chimney Rock. Minute 25. The rocket pods, the armor. But vehicle control doesn't matter if you don't have the point. It helps a lot, obviously, but it doesn't. if you can't get the point, it's worthless. How much time do we have left, though? In the half, 8 minutes, 47 four seconds. Ooh. And the so, beacon's gone out on the roof. Too late are getting ready for another stack up. Yeah, too late is dropping onto the roof now. They're getting ready to push this back. Minute. We'll They've got, got a minute. minute to get back on the point before Okats can do anything. Okats has to stay here for that timer to tick down. Yeah. So right now they Meanwhile, there's a Banshee to firing to directly in through Dubs. Okay. Seems like we had sights that earlier. Aid in the push. Oh, yeah. Okats is taking casualties inside the Dubs room. They need to get out of there. The oh, flak, God. the explosives are going to cause some serious issues. Yeah, there goes one more. Camp Trooper's down now. The safeguard medics are helping. There are not many from the defense here as well. They need to get someone to the back cap quickly. Yeah, I... Near 20 minutes. 20 seconds, rather. Not 20 minutes. Gosh. Derp. 20 minutes! No. No, no, no. Hold 20 minutes before the cap! Hold 20 minutes! Yeah, too late has got... Not too late. Oh, cats. I'm slipping. It's getting late. Oh, cats has got everybody up in the holiday, up controlling the corridor, controlling the point. This is where you want to be. It's going to be hard for too late to break this. They've got people all over where they should be positioned. In my opinion. And there's oh, the defense. Oh, here we go. But is Point there a back cap? Back at Chimney Rock. Points are basically, at this point, Okats is out of time. They Like, but he's straight up by laws of timer. Well, no, because Okats can't win. Well, they can draw, but they can't win. Guy, you left the point. And then he Here got comes killed. Ray Twisted Why trying to clear it back. Uh, he gets Smalls. Is he going to get Bodo too? He already did. That back cap is cleaned up. That back cap Okats is, is now up. running out of time to even seven draw. Seven minutes remain in the match. Seven minutes. Okats is running out of time. Rage versus Fighting versus Arrow and more oh. Okats players, but they're trickling in. And Rage is, <laughs> as he likes to call himself, a pro Pog player sometimes. And he's going to take 1v1s all the way. Oh, he does finally go Point down to again. Solano, I think. So that's going to get the forecast going. But Calamity's now here. Solano is already low oh. on health. Yeah, Calamity oh cleans up God. Solano. Okats, oh. too late, has now arrived to clean up the last two. Yeah. But Donkey, it dies down to Smalls. Ascendance oh bolts God, Apollo. Ascendance bolts Smalls in a great shot. Wow. But that's not enough. There we so go. Too Chimney late. Is actually going to need. Oh, Cats has a chance to draw this still. They have six minutes of time left in the match and three minutes, 50 seconds to cap. So the timer is in their favor. The clock, however, is very much in Too Late's favor as they've guaranteed themselves at least a draw at this point. Oh, boy. Rapid tries to get in close, but can't. Chill for he takes down Apollo, but Smalls? No, they trade out, apparently. I'm going to give a shout-out to my favorite username in the match of Banana Goose. Mm, good news name. <laughs> so there, good I don't name. know if you've seen the matches, maybe. There is a player on one of the European teams that has a username of Deadly Cookie that I just can't help but mention oh. every time. Deadly Cookie? That sounds amazing. It, it's great. <laughs> Oh, actually, take Okats it back. is now Lieutenant pushing Lizard. aggressively forward, trying to, I think, spawn suppress too late. I don't know if I agree with the decision, but I can't fault it's being its effectiveness so far. They're starting to forward. They get they're getting themselves in a position on the rocks here to try and get a um, overhead, but they're getting kind of too late. Out is pushing quickly. hard on the rail. They have a few. Ma they have a max. They have a lot of infantry too. And we return and they have air the control, harasser. so they are safe from rocket pods, the bane of B bracket. Meanwhile, Thomas I think there's a lot of Okats in here. One medic gets bolted out in the middle of the room. Why do you, you don't want to die there? Now Grizzlebee is pushing in with a repair NG behind him, starting to clear the room. Apollo pushes into six too late members, and too late's just going to methodically. Yet yeah, there it goes. There is oh, the resecure. Harass is down. Hmm. I'm sorry, Bandy. There is the resecure, <laughs> and that is probably match at this point. Let's okay, get back on the point very soon because we're down to 4 minutes 30 seconds. 
It takes four minutes to cap a base, so Okats is running out of time here to even get a draw. Boy. Boy, this has been a match. I'm just running out of things to say. This is a just, match. This has been a match. This has been such a close match the whole game. Such a close match. Thankfully, the only thing that's gone no, wrong is to. my microphone not working for some reason. <laughs> nah, that Darn was, Windows. That was I'm going to blame fun. Windows updates. That's something like a good thing to blame. Windows updates. People, Screw you. People missed the award-winning speech. Mm. Oh, well. Okat's beacon down now as the Cypher's come in, and he's running down the running down the mountain right now. Yeah, I see so him 20 there. 20 seconds left. Akira Ninja. Eh, Okat's is now, I think, actually out of time, though. But he's waiting for oh, the beacon past the... Yeah. That's not going to work. What time are we looking at now? Uh, 3.17. Yep, that's. Our connection that now drops down. He back, tries yeah. to kill Calamity, but Calamity picks him up pretty easily. Medic versus Heavy now Assault. Go heavy Assault points. usually wins. Unless the Medic's got really good aim. So now we got to get the Brownie Point win. Who's going to win the Covenant Brownie Point? Uh, so, oh, there's some vehicle fights on the road here. And yeah, there's a harasser. Uh, there's a harasser on the road. There's, it's an wow. affiliate harasser. You oh. never see this in Late Smash. This is Feeling great. Harasser. Sandra. Hey, Sandra, oh with the help God, from the planes. Joining in there as well. There goes the Athelion. Boots, come on, you can do it. Yeah. They're even trying. They're go, even boots. doing the burst properly. Well done on the Athelion usage. Wow. Well done. Great. That's a. I think that's, that's a better Athelion gunner than I am. <laughs> I'm not a very good Athelion gunner, but I'll, it's still yeah. a compliment. Trust me. Like the, I think I'm better Athelion now. I'm a Vanu main though, so I should be. You should be. I should be. So but I feel like the Vanu. I feel like the Vanu harasser guns all kind of suck. So yeah. Oh my god. I think a lot of Vanu harasser players just tend to default to halberds or cobalts, depending on the situation. Oh, you should have seen. Or PPA. PPA, PPA back is very in the day. Strong. PPA back in the day was great. Still a, good on a harasser. Oh my gosh, too late is on Hayoka Chemical again. They don't have time for the, you, you can't capture this. This is just playing it's for fun. It's the brownie points. It's the what brownie do you mean? points. It's I suppose. The brownie points. Two minutes to cap. <laughs> beacon down. <laughs> Two minutes left in the game. Three minutes to cap. This is just for fun. This just has been a fun. fantastic match. You never see oh. two to one score lines in late smash. It, the, the format tends to be a lot more snowbally than that. So this was mm -hmm. such a close match. This is fan fantastic to cast. I'm oh my glad gosh. I came across with this one. Look at that. This has been fantastic. It's fighting over the point. Okay, TZ, picking up kills. Poor Turtle goes down. Not Turtle. Photo goes down. Oh, there's a Comet Max now for Okats, cleaning to the point. Okats going to get this back with a minute to go. So maybe Okats wins the Brownie Point War. Maybe. Depends on how you define the Brownie Point War, I suppose. Look, it depends on how long you cook the Brownie Point for. Mmm. This is true. And it depends on the flavor. Because the... Brownies yeah, flavors matter. The, uh, I mean, I like the traditional matters. classic like chocolate fudge brownie, but yeah, I mean you can't deny some of the other flavors are good. And also, I mean, it depends on your preference too. Because sometimes if it's really well cooked, you can kind of like chewy, which is some people really like and some people really I hate. Like, but the crispy outside with the with the burnt corners, that's the best bit. Yeah, I don't mind. I, I can <laughs> go either way. Like I'm I'm very like I'm very just sort of chill on my brownies. I'm just happy that I have them. You know. Mm. No, that's fair. But what's your topping of preference? Do you are you an ice cream, a thickened cream, or do you go something else? Ooh, ice cream all the way. And ice cream brownie sundae is one of the best things humanity has ever created, and I will fight anybody who says Ooh. anything different. Ooh. Oh, cats has rocket match, pods. For end days. of match. Congratulations end of to match. Too Late on winning with two points to OKTZ's one point. Team captain, so please hop up to interview channel for post match interview. So good! So good! Oh my. Okay, what we're not gonna just Caroline. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. That Caroline. was so we got dangerously close to that. No. Hey, hey chat, you should you should start singing sweet Caroline chat. Yes, chat. Sweet I'm Caroline, not... please make our lives happy. 
even make, happier. Make Reltor angry. Make Reltor angry with Sweet Caroline. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to get killed. <laughs> well, you are going to get bonked. <laughs> oh, no. But I think it's worth oh, it. No. All right, okay. Let's yeah, get the I... serious faces on here for just a moment. Um, okay. Post-match. Too Late wins. Uh, well yeah. played by Too Late. They played some very strong combined arm style, which is what you have to do on this lane to succeed. Okay, TZ, really, I think the thing it comes down to is that they were weak in the air. Continuously. Yeah, but... They only really ever had five people in the air. Uh, too late, they yeah. usually had many, many more than that. And they were able to make some up with the numbers with some smart positioning in the G to A, but eventually they just would always get worn down and picked away, and too late would win, would win the fights. I will give credit, though, that OKTZ OK were really strong on the get, um, ground and made up for it. With a lot of those, especially in that second half, defending both sides of the base with their ground, even when they were um, coming down on Mag Riders, I think that was probably what won them uh, the final, uh, that point at the start of the second match there. So, yeah. No, they, I don't know. did a it, great it was... job of just managing the pace of the fight mm. to suit them well. It was... And too late, definitely... couldn't push aggressively yeah. there. But eventually, over the long run, I mean, the Nanite... I think the story here really is probably Nanites. We'll figure out the interviews... The uh, interviewees have arrived. So we should probably go nanites. up down and join them here. But, uh... Bring up the aliens meme, but he says Nanites. Let's, let's, let's go. just go down to them. Why not? Let's go down. Channel uh, switched. Yeah. I Greetings. Just saw it. What's up, Jeb? Hey, Jeb. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Good day. Good day. I need to change some of the interview <laughs> stuff names. So Zaris and Vex, you guys are, I assume, are too late, yeah? Yes, sir. Yep. What a match. Zaris, Lord, Smalls, and... Oh, Smalls is not here. Okay. Nah, uh, he got me instead, unfortunately. Oh, no. Oh, don't worry. Uh, like you yeah, too. I know. It's okay. Okay. Well, first off, both teams, congratulations on a fantastic match. Oh, man. Back and forth, back and forth. That was a joy to cast, I have to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Andy and I had a fantastic time, so thank you for providing that. Thank you to both teams and, uh, of course, your representatives here. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> I think my first question has to go to OCATS. Uh, what was your philosophy regarding air control in the air domain, and why did you and, uh, why did you only... Uh, what was the deal with have, only having five scythes up? Because that's a little off-meta. Uh, there's a couple reasons. Um, our air guys have been trying their hardest on Scythes, um, and a lot of the Orax guys have been trying their hardest in VS. So it was like one of those things where did we feel comfortable doing like a huge um, air opener, especially since like like Too Late has some very good pilots. Like there are no slouches whatsoever. So we were kind of making that decision, and we kind of just made that call of let's try and get ground control let's try to get logistics let's get sky guards to help out and kind of just use our our pretty much our size as like poking power yeah okay i can it's a little bit more of a faction comfort thing with the vs vehicles Oh, Meg Riders were cool with, like, we're starting to get more training into them. Sifes were starting to get more training into them. But we just saw that uh, their air team is quite good. They got some really good ringers and players. And uh, we just kind of made a calculated decision of, let's just try and be more passive in the air and be more, like, anti-air focus. Gotcha. And then when it came time for the second half opener... Uh, what was your philosophy regarding getting Chimney Rock? Full send with uh, logistics and armor and get force control, which me and Vex were talking about in the pregame, where, you know, force control, especially if you're on that north side, like, that's what you have to do. And playing behind that rock, like they did in the first round, that's exactly what you had to do. So, like, pretty much uh, what Vex did first round, we did first round, we just modified it to basically full send armor and uh, get as much territory control for our sky guards so that we could, you know, pretty much like cheese um, that neutral base cap. Um, they made a good effort. They made a good call with that gal. 
but I think we just had too much AA for that gal to handle because I saw we popped quite a bit of maxes trying to do like a Hail Mary drop, but uh, that was pretty much the plan. Like get logistical control, get anti-air control, and uh, just use that cheese so that we have as much time as possible to set up on that point. Okay, and then question to this one's now for uh, too late because you guys in contrast, uh, Ocas had a lot of tanks, many many tanks. You guys had a lot of air. So what was your philosophy regarding the air pool and how did you try to use that in the match? Um, for the first opener, the reason and the reasoning behind that full um, air opener was purely so. My my philosophy was in this match specifically to gain air control, and again, and I think I've even explained this in past interviews. I I, I gain that air control, and then I can utilize that air control to gain the rest of the domains. So utilizing that brute force of that aircraft, I can then go and steal the point later on, um, using possibly like the galaxy that I just totally ditched behind the mountain um, that we realized was there halfway through the match. But you know. So uh, that sort of thing. Um, the controlling the skies allows me to do infantry drops. Like second half, we were having struggling, having struggles with. Um, but the second half, the reason I went again with an air opener was because I actually thought that the other team was going to swap tactics, um, which is why I didn't adjust to rotate to like a more armor oriented uh, style. But um, yeah, so we just continued with the same style of opener as before. Well, Ben, do you have any questions? I'll throw it to you for a moment. Well, yeah. Um, question for OKTZ, because bo both your openers were very similar in nature, but though in the first half, your opener, you had yourself stacked up in the zigzag building um, compared to the second half, we actually stacked onto point for the opener. Um, and I think from looking from a stream point of view, stacking up in um, the zigzag for the first half probably cost you the point. Um for that half do you um what are your thoughts on that and would you change it up this time around uh i'm gonna be quite honest like i would prefer to just stay on point uh i think we had a lot of things going and in that opener for round one um we did get a little bit like our communication did break down a little bit and that is because that um we did lose force control and I think mm -hmm. what we were just trying to do is play the timer and not rush the point too early because that's mm -hmm. the one thing about Chimney Rock that we've noticed and other people have told us is like, you don't want to be the people sitting on point versus that last 30 seconds because usually yeah. versus a well-coordinated team, you can enter and just break it. But then again, it kind of, it, you know, it depends on the caliber of players. So I think we just tried to be over safe. We probably could have played a little mm. bit more aggressive, but that was like a call and the decision that we made because our opener was starting to like not really going. Okay. So it was, it was just a precaution like sort of thing. That we yeah. Did. Well, one of the things I saw you did very strong in both halves as well for that opener is that you're using vehicles on both sides of the base to keep it defended because um, um, Too Late didn't manage to get to towards that point until they finally had the Sundra set up and they broke through um, your vehicles um, at the back of the base for Chimney Rock. And that's where um, we started to see things to change. And that didn't really happen in the second half um all too well from what i noticed it took them a, a long time to get themselves set up um so i guess the question for uh too late is at least for the the spawning um trying to get your vehicle spawns in trying to get yourself set up um what would you change between the two matches then for the two halves i think i would have definitely placed more uh contingencies for spawn points for myself um because mm -hmm. i did have a lot of a, a, a um comparatively to the enemy's armor i definitely or sorry aircraft i definitely had more than i needed so in which case i could have probably brought up and managed to get more sunders up forward to chimney rock um to possibly even have done a an earlier infantry push um yeah that that's something that i may have adjusted but yeah no oh, that's fair pretty Beautiful. much more spawns all around yeah always good to have more spawns everywhere um oh, jeb any more questions from you yeah, since uh, Zaris doesn't have a chance to talk anymore, I'm pretty sure you're the two-late armor lead, right? Yes, I am. All right. Uh, question for you. How do you change your tactic when you are engaged in a force literally twice the size of your own in tanks? Um, usually we try to... Ideally, we back up, uh, try and play, play really passive, um, 
get a, get everybody kind of behind a hill, have some cover, and then uh, beg uh, snails to come in and kill all of them for us. <laughs> uh, you may have noticed that we didn't exactly do that this time, which is largely on me. Like yeah, the, awesome. Part of what went wrong in the second half for us is we drove into the whole that there was like eight mag riders and other stuff i think about that i think i think i was counting up from like nine or ten mag riders you yeah, nine mm-hmm. or ten i was over there <laughs> it Many. was bad it was bad <laughs> <laughs> i would too late brought out the harassers Heck i think yeah. okats had one too ask some harasser ask a I harasser think, question possibly harasser questions oh yeah we saw the Ophelion. We saw the Ophelion being used. Bulldog Harasser. What was up with Bulldog Harasser? Oh, Why the Bulldog, Bulldog Harasser? is the best anti-infantry gun that is also wow. a real anti-armor gun. So you oh. can... Yeah, so I pull a Bulldog when I want to kill infantry, but I might have to kill tanks. No, and that's fair. that kind of describes Lane Smash. <laughs> that's changed up in the last year as well, because you, you do that year or two ago, you'd never see a Harasser Bulldog. Yeah, Bulldogs are increasingly so, becoming meta for their versatility against infantry and armor. The thing I'm less yeah, sure of, well. uh, at least for Emerald, been... it's incre- Bulldogs are increasingly becoming meta. It's yeah, the, there's been a lot of shifts in that. Um, I think largely related to the light AV buff that happened. Mm. Like it happened like almost two years ago at this point. Um, yeah. But it took an awful long time for that to catch up uh, in the broader meta. No, for sure. The meta, harass the meta takes a long time to adjust to things. It does. Anyway, even, that's all of my questions. The... Banny, do you have any more? Oh. Um, no, that's pretty much everything. I was just going to whinge more about harasses, but no, I'll keep that for another day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please do. I, I love I love when that happens. You guys can talk later. <laughs> Go later. get one of the channels downstairs. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I have a question. Can oh, I can someone sure, that's not a why caster not ask, ask question? Away. Okay, I have a question for both of the casters. Oh sure. Okay. Okay. Oh god. If you oh, had to give it. one advice to OKTZ and Too Late, what one advice would you give Ooh. from each of you? Um. And you could split it up like one does OKTC, one does Too Late, or you could just do uh, either or. Bandy, would you? I can do both if you if we can if you're good with both. Um, I'm just trying to ponder, so I'll let you take it off for now okay. for advice. Um, for OKTZ, I'd say your infantry pushes were a little weak, and I think you need probably need to have more engineers with your maxes, but I'm not certain. Because I can't always just, like, get a class comp by glancing at a group of infantry. Um, but I have to say, like, better use and better support of maxes would probably be the one thing I'd see, I'd like to see more of from you guys um for too late i would say uh at least for this max trying to use your air control a little bit more and translating that into an advantage on the point especially at two must skylands uh but also at chimney rock hayoka chemical powerhouse building not a great atg building for obvious reasons. Uh, but I think at those two bases, I'd say just taking that air control and really using it to really hammer their infantry as best you can. I think that's something that could be better. That'd be my thoughts. Bandy? Um, There isn't too many areas I can fault. I'd say uh, both sides did really well keeping up spawns as much as they could, given with how much uh, armor control there was around the bases. Um, I would say forward caps and back caps, while there was actually a good amount of keeping up the defenses for those situations that could that came up, um, there were a couple of times that got caught out. Um, I think at one point, um, OCATs on the second half, they managed to... No, it wasn't the first half. I think they managed to get a beacon down um, and they get everyone in, but it, it did take a little bit of time to get everyone into that point. And even the occasional you get people leaving point to go after um, an infantry or to defend a beacon, which I think priority is to flip the point in that in that case. But that's oh, hard to say. Um, I think all in all, this was a pretty evenly matched and 
and I would say with given the circumstance, you, both teams did really well to handle what was thrown at them. So I'm sorry, it's not much of advice. It's like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, I like it. It's helpful. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for the great match. You all played great. Congratulations again to Too Late for the win. Very well played, OKTZ. Uh, tomorrow, there is one more Lane Stats match streamed on this channel. Date is fighting CBT. Let me get the information for you beyond that. They are on the... Oh, gosh. Windows. Bad Windows. Just stop it. They are on the Aiken Bravada Lane. I know you saw it all last weekend and a little bit more today, but... It, Trust me, it's got some secrets left, I assure you. Uh, <laughs> that one is going to kick off at 18 UTC, or for the Americans in the crowd, 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Dotsor and Begong will have the cast right here on Planet Side Battles. So tune in for that if you're free. Everybody, uh, have a good night, stay safe, and we will see you all Planet Side.